quite uh, visually shocking. Um, it's like a huge whipper snapper has just blown over the whole of Yangon and taken out huge trees in every tree. So there's literally greenery all across the uh, the roads, the streets. Every billboard has uh, come down. There's not a billboard in all of Yangon standing. Uh, broken houses um, and a, just a massive uh, clean-up job. Um, we uh, went out and did some rice distribution to 3,000 people just in the northwest suburb of Yangon, just uh, immediately when I got off the plane. We know that the, the um, cyclones hit one of the most populated regions in Myanmar. So it's just left a huge swathe of human suffering and human need, so it is desperately urgent. The Delta area, the area there is devastating, and most of the areas are stiff, flooded, and some areas are blocked with the fallen trees and many of the debris. They were saying that the area doesn't have any food or clean water anymore, and they are un uncovering a lot of people, uh, a lot of dead bodies on the ground. And there were also some dead bodies on the floating on the water. Well, the water is only now re receding in the Irrawaddy Delta. That's where most of the um, casualties were. 19 million people live in that affected area. And waterborne diseases, malaria, dysentery, diarrhoea, foodborne cholera. Still raining here, which uh, just greases the, the lightning speed of epidemics if they take off. So it's urgent to get in the water and sanitation systems, a clean potable water, water purifiers, water tablets. Because of the very fragile, perilous situation, you know, a much more apocalyptic scenario with epidemics could develop.